Hey, FNG followers, JC Styles here. I uh, just got done watching Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, and it gave me the motivation to do this video. Um, the reason, you know, the, the reason you ask why uh, that movie inspired me to do this video, uh, because, you know, a lot of people uh, don't realize that what kind, what kind of uh, impact. Bruce Lee had on the martial arts world. I mean, you look back and you look up martial arts and you look up Jeet Kune Do and, and all the various forms of martial arts, you're going to come across Bruce Lee's name more than once. And the reason for this video is because, you know, he inspired so many people. He inspired uh, my uncles, my, uh, my brother, uh, my brother Jerry, my uncles Adam and Sonny, uh, it really inspired them to get into uh, martial arts. I mean, for years, every time my brother watched a martial arts movie, he always tried to do it, you know, try to reenact the moves on me. Uh, same thing with my uncle. I remember growing up and watching Steven Seagal movies with my uncle Sonny and my uncle and uh, my uncle Adam. And, you know, it's fun times and, you know, I hadn't watched Bruce Lee, uh, the dra Dragon, the Bruce Lee story in a really long time, and the stuff that he went through uh, in his life, you know, he came to America uh, to escape demons, uh, demons in his, uh, in his, in his, in, in his life, uh, not drugs or anything like that, his demons were more kind of like spiritual, and, uh, pretty much came to America, you know, you know, lived in the slums, you know, all that stuff, and pretty much basically, you know, from there, you know, started doing TV shows, he started the Green Hornet, then he did the Big Boss movie, uh, then he did Enter the Dragon, Return of the Dragon, you know, he did so many movies that inspired, and before I go on to like this 15 minute rant. Another reason why I did this video was because inspiration is the key moment for this video. You sit there and um, you think all the people that followed in Bruce Lee's footsteps for martial arts, Van Damme, Seagal, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, you know, uh, Tony Ja, who who was known for his, his role in Ong Bak, the Thai warrior, and uh, the protector. Um, they really did a lot. He, they, their basis for doing movies was pretty much off of Bruce Lee. And, uh, the reason for this video, like I said, is inspiration. Because you think about it, uh, now we get to the wrestling segment. It's like Bruno San, Mar Bruno San Martino, uh, Luthez, Buddy Rogers, Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, uh, you know, all these guys who inspired the, the, the young generation of wrestlers, like The Rock, Austin, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, John Cena, uh, guys like The Undertaker inspired so many others. You know, uh, Edge, Rey Mysterio, Dean Malenko, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. You know, all these guys inspired a youth ge of generation of wrestlers. Uh... You know, you watch, you watch uh, Hulk Hogan in the '80s, and then you watch The Rock in the '90s, and see how successful he became with the people, uh, the fans, as he called them. Uh, Stone Cold, you know, Shawn Michaels in the Degenerates, the fans, you know, this Triple H, you know, his his following, you know. It dates back to like guys like Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan, Buddy Rogers, Dustin Rhodes, superstar Billy Graham, Harley Race, Arn Anderson, Ole Anderson, Tully Blanchard. You know, a long list of wrestlers, you know, and sparked the generations that we have seen over the last, you know, 10 to 20 years. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to do this video as well is because you sit there, everyone sits there and they say that uh, The Rock, uh, overrated. He came back because he was running out of money, or he came back because he pursued everything he wanted to do in the movie business. You know, like I said, 
you know, WrestleMania 18 was a fantastic WrestleMania. Uh, you had kind of the passing of the torch between Hulk Hogan and The Rock. Uh, before that, you had, you know, you had countless, numerous, uh, countless and numerous matches throughout WrestleMania history, and that match stands out the most because Hulk Hogan realized that The Rock was this generation's Hulk Hogan. Uh, and I think that's the reason why they had that match at WrestleMania 18. It just wasn't a feud. It was that Hulk Hogan sought out The Rock, seeing how popular The Rock came, was coming, and became the movies, the TV shows, SNL, Mad TV, you know, and Hogan chose to work with that particular wrestler. You know, and, and granted what people want to say about The Rock, uh, my beliefs is that The Rock came back because he missed the business. Same thing with Hulk Hogan back in the 90s. He left the business for a little while. He did movies and TV shows, and he came back, and he did, he wrestled because he missed the company. Not because of the money. I mean, come on, you think about it. The Rock's last 10 movies were big success in the box office. Race to Witch Mountain, The Tooth Fairy, Planet 51, which was an animated movie, Faster. Uh, you had, uh, he's got the new Fast Five coming out in, uh, in a couple of months, which he's going to, you know, he's going to make big bucks off that movie because it's a Fast and Furious uh, franchise. You know, The Scorpion King was a fantastic movie. Uh, you had The Rundown, which was a good movie. He was funny. Uh, and The Rock left in about 2003, came back in 04 for a match. Then we didn't see him until I think it was WrestleMania 23, uh, the hair versus hair match when he cut the promo on Raw about Umaga and how Umaga's uh, name uh, Samoan for monkey testicle or monkey penis. But I think that The Rock coming back right now and and choosing to uh, start and to do a feud with John Cena, I think that maybe it's. It, maybe The Rock sees that it's time to, you know, pass the torch on to a younger wrestler. And that's what it is. And, you know, that's what the wrestling business is all about, passing the torch. You know, and people said that there was an unspoken torch passing between Stone Cold and John Cena when John Cena, uh, when Stone Cold was inducted into the Hall of Fame. And there was no, there was nothing. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna take the if you're gonna take the the stardom that John Cena has become as of late, you would have to compare it to The Rock, numerous WWE champion, uh, numerous uh, United States uh, John Cena is multi-time United States champion, uh, multi uh, two-time World Heavyweight champion. The Rock is a multi-time Intercontinental champion, multi-time WWE champion, two-time World Heavyweight champion and tag team champion, along like John Cena. You know, so it goes to show that, you know, these guys, these two wrestlers particularly, rather, like I said, I don't hate John Cena. I respect, I respect him as a man. I don't respect him as a wrestler because I think as a wrestler he's a joke. But I do respect that what he does on a nightly basis. I respect the business. I respect all aspects of the wrestlers in the business, whether I hate them or I can't stand them, etc. It doesn't make a difference. I will always respect the business and its wrestlers. And if The Rock wants to come back, host WrestleMania and not wrestle, that's fine. If The Rock wants to come back and host WrestleMania and wrestle against John Cena, I'm all for that. It, I, I, you know, it kind of, it kind of resembles because it's like, you know, everyone, you know, sits there and they bash John Cena. You know, I bash John Cena too, and I bash the Miz. But again, like I said, I respect them. I respect what they do in the business. Well, I thought this video was only six minutes. It's nine minutes already. Um, I respect them, but the thing about it is that it kind of reminiscent of, you know, Rocky for a minute, you know, jump to movie process, movie uh, history real quick. The reason for Rocky Balboa was that the last Rocky movie was that Rock had so much stuff still left in the basement, he was still missing something from his life. He lost his wife, Adrian, you know, and 
he had an up-and-comer hotshot boxer, Mason Dixon, who was actually played by Antonio Tarver, an actual real-life boxer. And uh, they did a virtual simulation boxing fight of who would win. You know, and Rocky won, and it sparked up a lot of interest. And the, the sole purpose was the reason why they went ahead with the match, the boxing match, was because the fact is that they Dixon had never been pushed. Dixon had never been uh, taking the distance. And I think that's what the WWE is trying to do. If they're going to go ahead and make The Rock Cena for WrestleMania 27 this year, I think it's perfect because, again, John Cena hasn't been pushed. John Cena, I have, have not seen John Cena put a five-star match on since he's debuted in the WWE in 2002-2003. Um, I think that's what the WWE needs to focus on right now is pushing the younger talent and you know if putting the rock and john cena one-on-one -on -one in wrestlemania and give them a half an hour time slot and if john cena can deliver and the rock can deliver why not let these two big names in the wrestling business go at it you know you have john cena has been doing movies tv shows etc um hosting uh, award shows, uh, winning uh, Nickelodeon awards, you know, Teen Choice Awards, stuff like that, MTV Movie Award or whatever. Rock's done all that. Rock's been there, done that, so why not pass the torch? You know, which again, which, which like I said, this sole purpose for this video is inspiration. How Bruce Lee inspired a young generation of martial artists. How Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Buddy Rogers, Lou Thez, Arn Anderson, Ole Anderson, Tully Blanchard, Dustin Rhodes, I mean Dusty Rhodes, Bruno San Martino, Lou Thez, inspired a gener superstar Billy Graham, Harley Race, uh, inspired a, ge a long generation of superstars. How Hulk Hogan in inspired the 90s generation, Bret Hart, Stone Cold, The Rock, Shawn Michaels, inspired to the the two thousands wrestling generation. Now you have The Rock who may pass the torch over to John Cena, and you see. And if that happens, maybe John Cena will have a little bit more credibility. But hey, you know, John Cena went toe for toe, and went fifteen minutes or went twenty minutes to a half an hour against The Rock at the grandest stage of them all. He's got it. You know, that's all I'm trying to get at. And I think a lot of people don't seem to realize that about the business is that you know it's really. Uh, it's not all smiles and handshakes. It's ruthless, you know. And and the in the business, wrestling business is a ruthless comp uh, 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 product product. And like I said, if they want to do John Cena Rock at WrestleMania, I'm all for it. I would love to see that match. I am ordering WrestleMania this year, and Brian is gonna watch it with us, with me and my father, and possibly my mother. So, which again. You have Bruce Lee inspiring a generation of mismar uh, martial arts, uh, martial artists. All the long list of wrestlers inspired the wrestlers of today and of yesterday, and of the future. So, guys, this has been my video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I'm JC Styles, and you're either effing true or you're effing screwed. Have a good day.